Oh man. Oh man. Fox. My favorite company. Quality entertainment. Mm -hmm. With these little um, bubbles or fuzzballs. What are? What even are oh. these? Ooh, they're <laughs> gobos, and they're very silly. What exactly is a gobo? Uh, I don't know, but this is Croc, Legend of the Gobos. I would, I would like to learn of this legend. <laughs> Me too, because I don't think a gobo is a real thing. But who knows? Maybe in some mystical island like this one. Where Moses is? Mm-hmm, yeah. Little Moses being picked up by uh, King Solomon, I hope. I don't have my Bible lore down. But hey, for Croc, it's King Solomon. It is canon. Moses is a lot greener than I remember. Oh yeah. He's cute though. Very adorable. He doesn't have eye sockets. They just kind of float above his head there. Just on top of it. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, actually, they're tumors. <laughs> they look like eyes, but... I'm common coder, by the way. I'm Cranberm. Alright, I'll, I'll be playing this game. I, I'm not very good at it. I'll be talking while I watch him play the game. Yeah. Oh. Look who we have here. Who? Who's that? It's a 90s Bowser. With his little fancy hairdo. Baron Dante. It's Baron Dante. Baron Dante? Okay. Baron Dante. Like Dante's Inferno. But Baron? Yeah, he's Baron. Those are some pretty spiky shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. What's those things as a kid that you would throw balls into? Like they had the kind, they kind of had like the mouth of a beer and Dante. What? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, maybe I just dreamed it up. Oh, oh hold on, Baron Dante is doing something with his arms of his. Wow, King Gobbo didn't put up much of a fight. No, he's the worst king, frankly. What king doesn't have guards? Apparently King Gabo doesn't. No. What? Why would King Gabo need guards? He looks like he could take on anybody. <laughs> yeah, he's he works out. He benches like 350. <laughs> so welcome to Croc, Legend of the Gabos. Glad to be here. Oh yeah, I'm glad you could be here too, Cranberm. Thank you. And so the adventure begins, first level. Ah. He, he looks so ready to f to adventure. I know. He doesn't care about the King Gaba being uh, captured. Alright, so in this game... In, in this game what we do is we collect Gabos up to the King Gabo. Each level has six Gabos. The sixth one can only be collected if you get the five colored gems in the level. And then do some kind of after level uh, like puzzle thing. Usually they're really annoying and almost impossible. But you're so pro, you're gonna get it on first try. Yeah, I'm, I'm so pro at this children's game for children. Right. I, like right now, I have to prepare myself. I'm, I'm planning. How do I want to tackle this room? <laughs> See, I got. You're it. evaluating the room. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at its structure. I'm ch uh, charting it down. Damn, was that a quick turn? Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like, you can jump, and you can quick turn, and you can adjust the camera. That's all Croc knows how to do. And butt pound. Like, right now, butt pound. Ooh, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> That's me making a mistake. Uh, those platforms will come back after you wait a while, but I, I thought they were there. That was actually just a uh, pro speedrun strat, actually. Yeah, yeah. Taking damage to save time, I understand. Exactly. That's what it was. Yeah. I, I didn't want to talk myself up, but that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Thank you, Cranberm. Always. My sidekick kick-ass. Or kiss-ass, what am I talking about? I am a pretty kick-ass sidekick, though. Eh, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even try on that one. No. The controls in this game are annoying. It's tank controls with a PS1 3D platformer, so it's not going to be good. Hold on, so, let me get this straight. You're telling me that you're evaluating this place too? Yes. 
You're telling me that a PS1 game does not have good controls. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I am. I, I don't believe it. I, I know it's hard to believe. In fact, you'll notice that through most of this uh, Let's Play, I will never be able to walk completely straight. <laughs> I thought that I was... I thought that was just a gameplay mechanic that Croc is really just really drunk. Yeah, uh, drunk goggles of Croc. Those guys have an evil cackle for a kid's game. Yeah, for real, that's kind of creepy. I know, I'm, I'm scared right now. And it's not even Halloween anymore, I'm freaked out. I mean, this is almost Thanksgiving time, you need to be thankful. I'm, I'm thankful for this game. Thankful for Croc. I'm thankful for Croc. I played this game as a kid. And my problem with it is they would have really simple puzzles, like stand on this one platform, then jump to the other one. But what I would do is I would see the first one, first platform, and I would break it so I could never get to the second one. And to me, that was some kind of huge mystery that I never figured out. <laughs> oh, and I, I ignored the goblet there because I wanted the extra life first. You, you wanted to, you wanted to sweat it out. Yeah, the goblets can wait. Right. Lives are more important. Yeah. Well, my life. Not the Gabo's lives. That's true. King Gabo, maybe. Well, I, I don't even think Croc even knows. Like, look how happy he is. He doesn't know his dad got captured. He's just... He's so happy to be here. He's going on an adventure. <laughs> Shazam, he says. It's adorable. That's some pretty on-point voice acting. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, Crocodile say Shazam all the time. That's what I hear. Yeah, but yeah, no crocodiles where you're at. I mean, I do live pretty close to the Okie Finoki, so I know. <laughs> Alright. How were you supposed to know to climb that? Well, <laughs> well, you see, intuition, Cranberry. Oh, okay. So it's just your pro intuition. Mm, yeah, my pro intuition, also Google. That too. My pro Google intuition. I hear you're pretty good at Google. Yeah, I'm the common Googler. <laughs> so, was this is this something you were talking about before, how you would always just break the box before jumping up to that one? Yeah, I would break the one on bottom, and I would never get the gem. And I thought I would get a power-up that allows me to double jump. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pause the game for a second. More important things. Important things. Like, more Googling. Right. If I don't Google every five minutes, I'll die. It's a serious condition. That's pretty... That's really serious. You might want to get that checked out. Yeah, I know. I'll think about it. But for now, Croc, that's what's important. Croc is all that matters right now. Oh, Man, yeah. You're getting these gobos left and right. Yeah, well, there's six of them. The levels aren't really that big. Well, for now, they're not. They might be big later. I, I haven't played most of this game. You so this is partially blind. I mean, I'm mostly blind, too. Yeah, well, in one eye. In both eyes, actually, I have to wear glasses. Oh. But well, I haven't played this game me. either. I I'm surprised you can tell Croc is uh, green. I'm not colorblind. <laughs> well, you said you were blind in both eyes. Do we need to pause this recording and have a chat? <laughs> but don't worry. We're almost done with this level. Okay, what's next? What are we doing now? Uh, platforming. Oh, more platforming. Yeah. Well, don't worry. At one at one point, <laughs> the game will take a right turn. Yeah, I know. Don't laugh at me. I'm dumb. I know. No, it's more just pro speedrun strats. Take damage, go fast. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. That's the common coder motto. Take damage, go fast. <laughs> at one point, this game's going to take a right turn, and you'll just do drive-by shooting. Oh, man. Like, it'll turn into GTA, but with a crocodile instead. So almost, it, it's basically just GTA 4 then. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I don't remember playing as a, as a croc in GTA 4. It was a secret level. Oh, okay. Kind of like the toilet in uh, Saints Row? Exactly, right, okay. Right. Does that, where does that even, where does that bird come from? Oh, well, you know, Tweety, Tweety appears when Tweety's needed. Help is, help is given to those who ask for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a religious thing. Right, okay. I mean, we did have the religious subtext in the beginning with Croc being Moses. Right, yeah. And King Gobbo being King 
biblical figure. Biblical figure. Right, king biblical figure. Yeah. King biblical figure. King BF. <laughs> Best friend. <laughs> My king BFF. I mean, they did. They did look pretty, pretty tight. Yeah, well, you know, that's why Croc's going out to rescue him. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure he knows he's going to rescue him. Is a thing. Yeah, we'll find out. Might be by complete accident. You know, this is a linear, a, a linear um, island, so you know Croc's gonna have to eventually. Oh man, is it mini game time? Yep. If you screw this up and you can't get the right box, you will have to restart the level. I got, I totally got it. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah I'm glad you got it on your first try because <laughs> I didn't. I did this for. I don't know. You mean, I don't want to get into it. Who cares? No one's no one that listening. Wow. Please help me. I can't talk. <laughs> you what you what you meant to say was you got that on your first try. Oh, you know what? You're right. Now that I th now that I think about it. You talk. We're we're gonna we're gonna talk through this. Okay. Thank. You. I appreciate all the help. This is my speech therapy right now. I I didn't want to be the one to bring it up, but. Look, we this is this let's play is all because I have a speech to do in my uh, uh, college geography class, which I'm not sure is a thing, but <laughs> it is now. It's just a ridiculously convoluted scheme. Yeah, yeah. I I'm nervous about public speaking, so I figure my goon pals on the internet will be able to help me get over my uh, you know fear. I'll picture all of you in your underwear, and we'll get through this together. I'm doing this in my underwear anyway. Oh, that's great. <laughs> There we Thanks go. For that, cram -brim. You're welcome. I'm I'm just really committed to this for you. That warm bitter butt. <laughs> and our butt is our only weapon. I know. Crocs Croc seems to be quite the pacifist. Yeah, you know, he's he's anti gun violence. He just, you know, does everything with his butt. He thinks with his butt, basically. <laughs> I'm I'm mostly just waiting for the the real gritty harsh reboot of Croc where it's a first person shooter. Oh, Croc Other M? Exactly, right. Yeah. Yeah, well you know him and Samus do have a lot in common. They do. They do. They both been uh, raised by Chozos and Gobos. You know, they sound similar. Whoops, there I go again. Burn on your butt. Mm-hmm. Well that's why it's hurting everyone. It's so hot. Oh, okay. He's he's recharging his butt power. Yeah, his, his butt powers. That okay? That that key? Yeah, you saw that, right? That was kind of a dick move. <laughs> yeah, they they hide them behind the gongs because they don't know where else to put them. And then you have to realize, oh wait, they do stupid things. I know where it's at. Then that's when you can continue on with the game. I will. Uh, speaking of which, sorry, this will be 100% run. Good. Good. But we will not be collecting all the orbs because they don't matter. If you get 100, you get an extra life, but other than that, they, they don't contribute to any kind of secret ending. Now what Now what are we doing here? Oh, this is whack-a-mole. This looks you like- get most of the, You have to get most of the sheep to get the gobo. Looks more like explode a sheep to me. Yes. And- Poof, Poofing sheep, really. <laughs> poofing sheep, yes. I didn't say pooping, come on. I th now, are you allowed to, like, I, you haven't missed one yet, have you? You're this 100% right here. <laughs> uh, I missed about three, but that's okay. We'll get the gabu. Oh, this took me a lot of practice. I, I must have done this maybe four or five times before I could actually get the gabu. Maybe this whole time it's pronounced Jobo and we're all being dumb. <laughs> Legend of the Jobos. You know, Job from... No, I, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. I feel like I had to explain that to you. It ain't easy being brown. <laughs> right. What What here is brown? Oh. Uh, the Gobos. The Jobos, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the Jobos. It's canon now. Alright, here's our first mini boss. Uh, Big Bird Hairless with a tattoo. And, and Croc is just making his way over there. Or featherless, excuse me. Oh, that's the first embar embarrassing thing I said all night, and nothing before that. Not one thing. Nope. There are no gobos in secret levels or boss levels, so we'll just be going straight to the boss to kill. We have like uh, violence on our mind. Just for once. One mission. One mission. 
and you are you are dead set on doing it. Oh yeah. To kill him with your butt. Actually, I like I'm pretty sure we don't know it's there until we actually get to the end of the the world or the level. But like I said, everything on this island is linear, so we kind of kill what's ever in our way. I'm having a hard time believing that this is not a sandbox game. This is actually what Minecraft used to be. This is the Minecraft Alpha from 1990-something. The graphics got better, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you doing to kill this guy? Uh, they just kind of follow you around and punch the air. And that one punch will make them very tired. You just walk up and do a twirl. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck against the wall. <laughs> I'm still stuck. I was panicking. I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? Oh man, this is the most embarrassing thing ever. I know. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Look at that death animation. He, you know, he died the way he lived. Really shocked, it looks like. Yeah, shocked that he was growing for some reason. And then, I guess, just waddle away. And everything's cool. back to normal. And Tweety takes us away with magic, <laughs> and we're and we're so shocked that it happened. You think he'd be kind of used to it by now? Mm -hmm. Now you'll notice the island appeared out of nowhere. It's a volcano, right? Like is volcanic island. Right, right. Now these appear; these secret levels appear when you collect all the gobos in the levels beforehand. Okay. So there are, there are no gobos here either. There's just one puzzle piece. Which, um, I'm not going to tell you what it does, because I don't know what it does either. But we'll find out together, Cramber. This is an adventure for you and me. I'm so excited. Oh, me, I'm excited for you too. This is an, I mean, it's an adventure for all of us. Croc, me and you, and the viewers. And, the, and all three viewers that we'll ever get. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get banned for this. Probably. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. It's a rite of passage. <laughs> I have one goal in life now, and that's to play Croc. It seemed like there was more to do in that area. Oh no, no, we'll, get, we'll go back there. Don't worry. Uh, okay, so that was just a, like a that was just a tease. It was a, it was a preview of what's to come. Right. There's a secret box that we can't quite get you to yet. Okay. But guess what's in that box? I mean, you've you've been talking about this puzzle piece for a little bit. I'm I'm thinking that it's a puzzle piece. You know, we'll see. It's a secret. Every box is a secret. You're just keeping me in suspense. Oh, don't you worry. It's, it'll be over soon. Don't have a heart attack, please. I'm worried about you, Cranberry. My blood pressure is skyrocketing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm quivering. Okay, well, take it easy. We're almost there. Okay. That button seemed pretty, uh... Oh, oh <laughs> man, I love those quick turns. Yeah, the camera doesn't readjust itself, and if you don't have uh, analog sticks on, which I won't ever, <laughs> because of the controls, it, you have to do a quick turn to forward the camera. I like how you missed that guy and just ignored him after. Oh, and what was in the box was nothing, uh, a heart. That was it's pretty disappointing, to be honest. You've been talking about that puzzle piece. Well, don't worry. <laughs> I think I mentioned the puzzle piece once in this recording. <laughs> so... But that's all right. It is pretty important. But you've been talking about it all day. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Cranberry, we got to record a croc. I'm going to show you this puzzle piece. I didn't say that. That was all you told me about the puzzle piece. I didn't even know it was croc. I, I don't think puzzles are a thing outside of croc. No, it's... They came together in croc. It, that was where they were developed. Yeah, they developed. Mm -hmm. The concept of puzzles were developed in croc. Exactly. Uh, there's a path to the left there, which leads to the puzzle piece. I but saw I've that. Played this, <laughs> I've, I've played this world so many times. You... So all we'll be doing is uh, doing what we need to do. When we get to the later worlds, I'll be doing more exploration. I'll be more blind. But right now, we're just going to get through this as quickly as possible so we can all have new content to enjoy um, my failure in together. I'm so, I'm so excited. This... I just cannot wait for this puzzle piece. I can't get it out of my head. Okay. All right, calm down, buddy. Look at this key, though. That's pretty nice looking. That's a pretty, uh... <laughs> I was so dumbfounded by the key, it just kind of stood there. That key was very much spinning around, and it was very mesmerizing. Yeah. 
And we'll look at it taunt- look at it taunting us above our heads right now. It's just- you have a key. What are you gonna do about it? Hey, Croc. You got a key right now. There's a door waiting for you, Croc. Is it a door? It could- it could be a box. It could be- could be a window. You never know. <laughs> well, I've never seen a window with a lock on it, but sure. Are you going to laugh every time I make a mistake? Remember? Every single time you jump in the lava. Just, it's not even because you jump in the lava, it's the voice acting that- No! Oh! Oh, that was a good, uh, child Homer Simpson voice. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, did you see it? I saw it. You're not going to get that by me. What are we doing? Oh, we were doing something far more important. Waiting. Oh my god, come on, man. You, you, I, know. I saw the puzzle piece, it was there, and you passed right by it. Yeah, I, I know, but we have, we have more important tasks to handle. When we get the puzzle piece, the level's over, so we have to do this right now. Anyway. What could possibly be more important than the puzzle piece? Hey, maybe there's puzzle pieces up here. Maybe there's another gobbo. You've intrigued me. Uh, now I'm, I'm pretty curious about what's in here, too, so... Well... It couldn't possibly be a heart. Oh, oh no. Okay, so it's a heart. I'm disappointed again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of disappointed too. Huh. Oh wait, no, there's two. Uh, oh, so much better. The, oh, okay. okay. The excitement wore off pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it again. Come with that puzzle piece though. Ugh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> croc. No fall damage in Croc. So. Croc, I'm sure he feels pretty lucky about that right now. Well, he has no bones. He has no bones to break. He's one big, uh... Lump of green. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so that was the, uh, the first few levels of Croc. We're gonna save our game. And then next time we'll play the Tumbling Trottini? Is that what that said? I, that's a weird crossover. Yeah, well, hey, I, I don't mind a Croc in my Pokemon. Oh, Dan, Dan, Dantini? Is that a drink? What's a Dantini? Uh, it's a martini by Dan. Oh!